Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanson here. So we're back with a brand new video and I just want to thank you guys for giving the previous video 25 likes. If we can get this video to 30 likes, I will release the next video as soon as possible. And I also just wanted to remind you guys that I do have a patron and if you guys want, you guys can join whichever tier you want. Uh, as of now, if you join the developer tier for $3 a month, uh, basically you get a patron role on my Discord server as well as the opportunity to promote your Discord bot on my server. Anyways, so I'm going to show you guys how to call the back end from the front end. And I'm going to show you guys how to basically update the prefix. Okay, so in the last video or last two videos, we created this form and we have a hard coded uh, prefix over here. So currently, this is the bot that my server's in. So I think that's USA server. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and go inside our Discord server. So right now, what I want to do is I want to basically call the API. So we're going to call the API, and we're basically going to get the config for us. So I actually did not even set up that route yet, but it should be pretty easy. So we're going to go to discord.js inside the backend project. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a get request and we're going to get the guild ID slash guild or we're just called config. Okay. And this is just going to be a simple endpoint that is going to return the guild configuration from the database. Okay. So it's going to basically return uh, this single document from the guild configs collection. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just get the guild ID by destructuring it from rec.params. Remember, that's the route parameter. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to simply return. Well, actually, I'll first do this const config equals await. We're going to call guild config find one because we want to search the database for the configuration based off of the guild ID. So guild ID. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say return config. So I'm going to use a ternary operator. So if config is truthy, so if the data is actually found in the database, we are going to return the config. By, we're going to return res.sed. Or we'll set the status to, I guess, 404 not found. Send message not found. Okay, and that should be uh, just fine. Okay, so now we need to go into the front end and we need to make an API call. So let's go, let's close up dashboard backend and let's go to client and let's go to pages or components rather. And we want to actually go to dashboard page. So what I'm gonna do now on the front end is I'm gonna basically actually move all of this into a separate component. Well, I'm gonna move uh, the form into a separate component so let me go ahead and do that. So we'll call this uh, dashboard menu page component or dashboard. I want to make dashboard menu. And basically what I want to do is I want to fetch the data and then pass it down as props instead. So we're going to import react from react export function dashboard menu street guild ID. And then we will return the form right over here. Okay, so now we're going to have to import this into the other component. So we'll export this from dashboard menu, dashboard menu. And then we will have to render that right over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, we need to uh, import everything. And we should also declare prefix. So I'll just do this temporarily as a placeholder. And then we're going to need to actually pass in the data that we need. Okay. So let's go ahead. And first, let me go ahead and go inside this use effect right over here. So this is where we're going to call the API. So we actually need to go into our api.js file. That's where we have our endpoints. That's where we have our functions that are called the API declared. So we're going to declare a function called get guild config. This is going to take in the guild ID. 
and then we're going to return axios dot get because it's a get request and we're going to call localhost port 3001 slash api slash discord slash guilds and then the guild id let's interpolate like that and then config and then we're going to pass in the with credentials property because this is going to send the cookie when we make this request okay so that's pretty much it and now we are going to i'm going to get rid of the set loading and i'm going to go ahead and return get guild config and we need to get the actual guild id so how do we actually get the guild id well, notice how in the menu page there was the guild id and the route parameter so if i actually go over here you can see that it says localhost dashboard and then the guild id so i'm going to pass in the match prop remember this is passing from the router and i'm going to go ahead and pass match dot params so match dot params is an object and that object has all of the routes uh, parameters as a variable inside the object so if i pass an id then it's going to get me the actual guild id okay so that's uh pretty much it and since we're returning a promise inside the dot then we need to chain the promise so we need to handle the promise by calling dot then again okay and then i'm going to set loading here to false okay so watch this so i'm going to go back to dashboard and if i open up the console you're going to see on line 21 look what's returned the actual data from the database okay now we need to actually pass this in as a prop so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get rid of this because we don't need it anymore and i'm just going to go ahead and declare a state variable called uh whoops i prefix config so config and this will be an object okay and what we want to do is we want to call set config and set that to data so I'll set the variable and then we're going to pass in the user and config as props. Well, we don't necessarily need the user, but I haven't been using it. So I might as well just pass it down. So dashboard menu, user, user, and then config, config, just like that. Okay. So the set loading is important because if it's not done loading, then we shouldn't render this component, this uh, dashboard menu. So right over here, remember when the page is first uh, rendered or when the page when we first are about to render the page loading is currently true and then we're calling this uh, use effect right over here this callback function and then we're calling get user details okay so once get user details is called it's still loading okay then we have set loading which is set to false if this call is successful if it fails if any of these fail it's going to also set loading it's going to set it's going to call set loading it's going to set it to false and it's going to also push or route back to the main route and I can also uh, yeah well, I think this should be good enough so I refresh now we actually should console log our props just to make sure everything's okay okay so you can see that we have all of our props okay that's good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this prefix and for the initial values, we'll set the prefix to config.prefix. And we will set default value to config.prefix as well. So you can see now, instead of question mark, it's not dollar sign because that's coming from the database. And I think that should be it. We don't really have anything else, so we'll leave it like this for now. Of course, if we have other forms, we'll also uh, set the initial value to that too. Okay, so now. What do we want to do next? Well, we have our form. Okay, we have the prefix. Well, the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually update the prefix with whatever value we type in. So if I type in, let's say, exclamation mark, and I click update prefix, it needs to make the API call. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, when we call uh, this on submit function, which is invoked whenever we click on the button, we need to just make an HTTP request. So we're going to go back to API.js. We're going to go ahead and say export function and we're going to call update guild prefix and this is going to take in the guild id 
as well as the prefix. Now this is going to be an HTTP put request. So we're going to call axios.put and we're going to call HTTP localhost port 2001 API discord guilds guild ID prefix. So it's literally just the same thing that we defined in the backend earlier. So we're going to pass in the prefix. Remember the request body is expected and with credentials true. So this is going to call this endpoint right over here, which is basically, let me go to the backend, which is basically going to be this endpoint over here. And remember, it expects the request body to have the prefix variable. So we're gonna pass it in as well. And uh, yeah, that should be fine. And now when we call on submit, what we're going to do is let me actually just destructure a prefix because I don't really uh, need anything else from that. We're going to call get or not get update guild prefix. Yep, update guild prefix. So let's just import that from API from utils API. Okay, so we're gonna call update guild prefix. Now personally, I actually don't like this because uh, we're inside this on submit function. So what I'm actually good, so what I'm actually gonna do instead, and this is a common pattern, is I'm gonna go ahead and go inside the dashboard page. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just create the function over here. Okay, so I'm gonna create the function in the parent component. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pass it in as a prop down here. So we'll call this update guild prefix, or actually update prefix. I know we're kind of, I know it's gonna be really confusing, but don't worry, it's not. So let's go ahead and just import this over here again. So we are in update guild prefix. Remember this is from the API, okay. And so this is the function that we're going to invoke right over here. And now for this function over here, we're going to pass in that function as a prop down here. So when it's called, we're going to call update prefix just like that. Okay, so let's do that. So update prefix. Okay, so we're basically passing in this function down to the child component as a prop. And then when it's called, we're gonna call update prefix because I don't wanna put all the logic inside here because it's gonna look really ugly. So I'm just gonna call update prefix and we're gonna pass in the prefix as well as the guild ID. We can actually get the guild ID from the parent component, but it's fine. Okay, and now we're gonna pass in the same thing, guild ID, prefix. And this should actually be an async function. So, because this returns a, a promise. So we shall do const update equals await. And of course, if anything happens, if any error happens, we should always catch that. All right, so let's actually test this out and see what's up. So let's go ahead and edit it. So it's saying bad request, and that's because it says it's undefined. So it seems like we may have, uh, oh, you know what it is? It's because we didn't pass in the guild ID down. So you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just, instead of passing in the guild ID, I'll just pass in the prefix. Okay. And for the guild ID, we'll just pass in match.params.id. Okay, so let's update. So let's change that. So you can see it was a 200. And if you actually go to the data, Right over here you can see it returns the updated object, which is good. If I refresh, okay, it's going to be an exclamation mark. If I change it to percent sign, it's going to do the same thing. And you can see in the database, it is changing the prefix right there, just to verify. And that is pretty much it with uh, changing the prefix. Okay, it's very, very simple. And hopefully all this made sense. So just to recap all we did in this video, was we created a route to retrieve the guild config. So that way we were able to display the actual current configuration to the user. And then on the front end, we made an API call to the route that we made in the last video to actually update the prefix.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully all this made sense. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.